Robert Boyle, January 25, 1627, December 31, 1691, natural philosopher, was an Anglo Irish natural philosopher, chemist, physicist, alchemist, and inventor. Boyle is largely regarded today as the first modern chemist, and therefore one of the founders of modern chemistry, and one of the pioneers of modern experimentascent method. He is best known for Boyle's law, which describes the inversely proportional relationship between the absolute pressure of an of a gas if the temperature is kept constant within a closed system. Among his works, the Septical Chymist is seen as a cornerstone book in the field of chemistry. He was a devout and pious Anglican and is noted for his writings in theology. Robert Boyle quotes, God would not have made the universe as it is unless he intended us to understand it. Even when we find not what we seek, we find something as well worth seeking as what we missed. From our knowledge of his work, we shall know him. Nature always looks out for the preservation of the universe. God is the author of the universe and the free establisher of the laws of motion. As the moon, though darkened with spots, gives us a much greater light than the stars that shine all luminous, so do the scriptures afford more light than the brightest human authors. In them the ignorant may learn all requisite knowledge and the most knowing may learn to discern their ignorance. The gospel comprises indeed and unfolds the whole mystery of man's redemption as far forth as it is necessary to be known for our salvation. There is no less invention in aptly applying a thought found in a book than in being the first author of the thought. He whose faith never doubted may justly doubt of his faith. As the sun is best seen at his rising and setting, so men's native dispositions are clearest seen when they are children and when they are dying. In the Bible the ignorant may learn all requisite knowledge, and the most knowing may learn to discern their ignorance. The book of nature is a fine and large piece of tapestry rolled up, which we are not able to see all at once but must be content to wait for the discovery of its beauty and symmetry little by little as it gradually comes to be more and more unfolded or displayed. Sound consists of an undulating motion of the air, darkness that here surrounds our blind understanding will vanish at the dawning of eternal day. I use the scriptures not as an arsenal to be resorted to only for arms and weapons, but as a matchless temple, where I delight to be, to contemplate the beauty, the symmetry, and the magnificence of the structure, and to increase my and excite my devotion to the deity there preached, and adore. I am not ambitious to appear a man of letters. I could be content. The world should think I had scarce looked upon any other book than that of nature. Female beauties are as fickle in their faces as in their minds, though casualties should spare them. Age brings in a necessity of decay.